These game is super fun, though there is a bit of a learning curve to it, so might not be best for a casual board gamer. The game starts with everyone on the same team and building a haunted mansion by placing cards in unexplored areas. Then after certain events, a player becomes evil and it a year. TM. It's no longer 100% cooperative. The cards are fun to read. More fun if playing with people who will get in character and use a spooky voice. This was a game that my sister-in-law brought, and I enjoyed enough to buy my own copy. This game is awesome and so much fun. I was disappointed though when I got mine the warehouse worker had took a knife to the lid of my game and then stuck a sticker inside the cute out area. It was a new game lol hanks amazon warehouse lol. Never really liked board games. Always too complicated, long or repetitive. When I first played this game at my cousins during the holidays I got hooked. Played 3 games that day. This game has so much possibility. Could not find a retail store that had it here in Montreal. Ordered it here and received it after 2 booziness days. Really fast shipping. Played it 10-12 times since. No 2 games were the same. First game is a lot of learning and can be very overwhelming. Push past it and you'll enjoy an incredibly replayable haunted house board game that consists of constantly shifting tides and, obviously, betrayal. Games take about 1 hour. Due to the random nature of the cards and dice rolls, some matches can be lopsided for the heroes, others are easily won by the traitor. Don't take the RNG personally, the benefit to the randomness is amazing emergent stories such as being the lone survivor, cornered by 5 demons, rolls all 2s and killing them all, winning the game for the heroes. It's a rewarding game that can only be fully appreciated on the second or third playthrough.